What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, today we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team. Today we're rocking out with Drought Groudon alongside with Chlorophyll Venusaur and Solar Power Charizard. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel or new here, Consider subscribing. Really only takes a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down just a little bit, just a little bit. Hit that big red subscribe button and join the community. But this team right here is looking amazing. It's looking like one of the top tier like Series 8 teams. And this team is actually kind of a little bit meta as well. Considering I was just using some off meta Pokemon. And I know a lot of you guys want me to use some more meta teams. So here you guys go. Here's a big one for you guys. We got the Venusaur, the Charizard, the Raichu, Grimmsnarl, Tapafini, and Groudon. Team's looking powerful. Let's get into the preview. Charizard in that top left corner with Solar Power and Chewy Scarf, so most of the time we're going to be able to outspeed and deal a lot of damage with this Pokemon, especially in the drought. We got Heat Wave, Flamethrower, Air Slash, and Dragon Pulse for its moveset. Right next to him is the one and only Raichu, very, very good at speed control with this Pokemon, and it is such a great lead. We got the Lightning Rod to protect our Pokemon from Lightning moves, or Electric moves, whatever you want to call them. Then we got the Focus Sash for our item, Fake Out, Nuzzle for Paralyze and Speed Control, Faint, and Eerie Impulse for Special Attack Drop. Middle left is one of the best Pokemons in a drought, and that is going to be Venusaur over here. We got Chlorophyll as the ability, so it doubles its speed in the drought. We got Y Lens, so its accuracy goes up. It's going to pair well with Sleep Powder over here, which is his first move. So most of the time, our Sleep Powders are going to be landed, and we're going to be putting Pokemon to sleep left and right. We also have Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, and Protect for its final three moves. Right next to him is a great support mod for any team, and that is going to be Grimmsnarl over here. This one's Prankster, and it is rocking with the Rocky Helmet, so physical attackers, beware of this thing, because every time they hit me, they're going to take some damage. We got Fake Out, we got Scary Face to drop speed, we got Spirit Break for stab and special attack drop, and Darkest Layer for our Dark Stab move. Bottom left corner is going to be the Restricted mod for the team, Groudon over here. Drought, White Herb as item, Precipice Blades, Heat Crash, and then we got Sword Dance and Protect. I'm still surprised that they never gave Fire a typing for this ground on. Like, how is it just ground? There's gotta be ground and fire. And same thing with Kyogre. Kyogre's gotta be water and ice. It's just gotta be a thing. Like, I just still don't understand how it's possible that Groudon can set a drought, but he's not fire. Doesn't really make sense. Does not really make sense. But final Pokemon on this team is going to be Tapu Fini. Pretty normal setup for Tapu Fini. Just works great all around. We got the Misty Surge. We got the Leftovers. Calm Mind, Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this heavy meta Groudon team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. We are hopping into our first battle for today's video. Going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team and just look at our team. Our team is looking phenomenal. This looks so strong. Cannot wait to get after it and grab some wins for you guys because we are definitely grabbing some wins with these guys. Definitely either a winning record or a perfect record. I'm telling you guys, right now we are going to be dropping some big kills and some big wins. But like I said, Shadow Rider Calyrex team. He also has the My Shell, the Entei, Indeedee, Rillaboom, and Galarian Moltres. I'm totally with that. I feel like we can just uh, win this battle. Pretty simple. I think we might just go some weather control easily and just get after it that way. He's probably going to lead the My Shell, actually, so I might just want to lead the Raichu, or I can easily go weather control and double protect. Kind of with that all day. Kind of with that all day. Right? I think that'll work. I think that could definitely work. And then if we have to swap, just in case the Rillaboom is coming in here, we could swap it to the Charizard. Because Rillaboom can just grass God and hit hard onto my uh, Groudon. And then final Pokemon, do I go Finny? Do I go with the Tapu Finny? He could roll out with the Tricker, which would definitely be scary for him. In that case, I just roll out with bleeds. Hmm. Let's see. I go in with the Finny. I go in with the lovely Finny. Who is it? Finny or uh, Raichu? I think a top of Finny in the back end could be a little bit better. So I'm going to pick that Pokemon over everybody. And we're going to rock out here and grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day. The final character for Super Smash Bros has just been announced, which is Sora. And I think it is a great pick. I think it's a great pick. I definitely want it Waluigi. I'm actually a little upset with that, but I think Sora is a great secondary. Those were my top two picks, Waluigi or Sora, because Sora is one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite game series, Team Hearts. I think he has a cool moveset. I think they can do a lot with him. I think he's going to be an all-around great Smash character, but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he is going to actually go with the... Uh, I might. He only has one fake-out option. I'm thinking of just blading here. I'm thinking of just blading and putting uh, Calyrex to sleep because I really wonder who he's going to go after here. I really do wonder who he's going to go after, so, or could he crash? 
I'm actually just going to double into this uh this Calyrex slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. They're gonna double down into the Calyrex slot. I wonder who he is going to fake out. It's probably gonna be my Venusaur. Probably should have thought that one through if I blocked this fake out. I'm just gonna protect Calyrex. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that turn. Here comes a fake out flying through, and it was gonna go after my Venusaur. Dang, yo, should have bladed it. Should have bladed it. Should have bladed it. He crashed, gonna come out here and get blocked. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, so we know we have speed with the uh, with the what's going with the Venusaur. So I am just gonna still drop a sleep powder over here. We're gonna go for a blade. We're gonna go for a blade. He does have wide guard. He's gonna end up switching. I know my shell usually rocks wide guard. He's gonna end up going into in deep. He's gonna end up going into in deep doobie blade, which is totally fine considering that that does not stop sleep powders. The Missy Twin would be that. So. I'm thriving with that. His second seeds are going to pop. We're going to be able to put the Calyrex to sleep. Because we should be able to outspeed it, right? Yep. And connect it. Yes, sir. I think he got his surges mixed up. I think he got his surges mixed up. Because the Misty Surge will stop uh, status conditions. So I'm totally cool with that turn. Now we can legit just rock out with Blades. Who's it missing? Who, did, who dodged that? Hopefully the Indeed. We got to get rid of this Calyrex. Come on, man. What you mean? We're going into another one here. Another Blades and... I am just going to actually. Where should I sword dance? What should I do here? I could sword dance, but I think we just uh, sludge bomb. Hmm. What do I go for here? Energy ball. It really don't matter. They're both pretty solid. Really. They both do the same thing. Might drop special defense, so might as well go into this. Well, why wouldn't I go after Calyx? I should have went after Calyx a lot. That was stupid of me. Very stupid of me, but hey, it's fine. It's totally fine. Definitely should have went after Calyrex slot because now we probably could have gotten the double kill. But Blade's gonna fly through here, hitting up all these dudes. Yep, that would have been an easy double kill. But Venusaur still outspeeds. I can Energy Ball and finish that Pokemon off right now. So looking pretty good. The Sleep Powder coming out here. The Sleep Powder doing work. If we still have speed, I can put the next Pokemon to sleep. I can Blade again and kind of just roll out with this uh, Weather combo. Super, super strong. Super good. He's gonna roll with Anthony. That's a big mistake. That is a big mistake because. You know we're rocking blades. You know we're rocking blades. Uh, I, I'm gonna rock slug bomb. I like the animation a little bit more. Oh, it's not very effective. Totally forgot. I do like the animation a lot more, but energy ball should be able to fly through here. Finish off that Calyrex before it even wakes up. And we should be thriving here. Energy ball coming in hot. Built. Get him out my face. We're not dealing with that Pokemon. That Pokemon is really strong, so I was lucky to be able to get that Pokemon to sleep. He's gonna actually outspeed me. We can say bye bye to Venusaur, but hey, Venusaur did a ton of work. I'm totally cool with that. My boy Growl here dropping blades, and this better connect. This better connect, or I'll be upset. Yes, sir. Blades coming out here. Yo, Ente, do me a favor and get out my game. Sick of these Pokemon in my game, yo. I knew we were going to be able to rock out with Steam and just dominate the battles. Look at that, yo. That's a huge start. Let's bring out my main man, Charizard, with the choice scarf as well. So, we're out speeding everybody. We have the drought. Flamethrower's going to be able to do a massive amount of damage here. It's going to be my shout for his final Pokemon. Then we can either fake out or take a Heat Crash or a Flamethrower from a Charizard to ground. So, this dude's call. Or he can cancel battle and, sa and save himself some time. But we coming in hot here. We coming in hot with the moves. I could use Air Slash, but... Actually, yeah, let's use Air Slash. It'll do more damage. It will do more damage. That's a better call. I'm gonna end up wide guarding. <laughs> what would have that done? Not even going for that. Stupid. Stupid. Let me Air Slash you, baby. Let me Air Slash you. Just take you out one shot. But, yo, I'm curious. Since Precipice Blades would have only hit him, would wide guard not have worked? Someone let me know in the comment section down below. Just another day in the office, ladies and gentlemen. Grabbing ourselves a win in battle number one. We're hopping into battle number two, and you guys know it wouldn't be a Pokemon Sword and Shield video if we weren't going up against a Kyogre team. I'm telling you guys, every single video, we go up against at least one Kyogre team. It is insane. It is nuts. This Pokemon is legit just taking over. But he has the Tornadus Kyogre combo. Very, very hard to stop. Very, very strong. And then he has the Mimikyu, Raikou, Umbreon, and Serene over here. So Serene can stop my fake ass. It can stop my fake outs, which I'm kind of worried about. And I might go Venus for turn one. I'm trying to think who I should go into turn one. Because we definitely have to have weather control. We definitely have to have weather control. A ground on should be slower than Kyogre. I mean, it's going to be cutting close. It's going to be cutting close. So I might just back end him and bring Raichu in. Then bring him. And then final Pokemon. Hmm. Who do I want? Who do I want for my final Pokemon? Do I want Charizard or Tapu Fini? We could go in. This is like the same team that we brought. But I think we're going to go in with Tapu Fini. I think Tapu Fini can work out really, really well here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I actually said we go Charizard. Then we go in with that same squad. 
Just because he does have the Raikou and the Screen, which can do work onto my Tapu Fini. Definitely very scared of those two Pokemon. So I said we just bring in that Choice Scarf Charizard. Considering he's not Trick Room, so Choice Scarf could come in clutch in the end. But main focus here is going to be Weather Control. Weather Control, 100%. If we can gain that, it's going to be GG's and we're just going to dominate this battle and go back to back, which I'm hoping. Which I'm hoping. He goes Mimikyu and Tornadus, which is totally fine. So he might be trying to pop a triple. I'm really curious this one. I'm really curious to see what he's trying to do here. I'm definitely going to fake out the Tornadus. And I think I'm just going to put the Mimimim to sleep. I think we're just going to say, hey, Mimikyu, go to sleep. But I'm really curious to see what the Mimikyu is going to do. I mean, we might not even be able to see it because we're going to be able to fake out and we're going to be able to put the summon to sleep. So I'm with it. I'm with it all day. It's a full one. If I can get that one, I might hard swap or I might just start nuzzling them left and right. I really don't want to give up weather control like early. If I give up weather control, that's his way into this battle. So he's definitely thinking because I have a lot on him. He's going to end up putting on Tornas. I'm cool with that. He's going to end up going into Umbreon. The Umbreon is going to fly out here. I'm 100% cool with that. I'm 100% cool with that. Big out is going to fly through here. Just chip up on the Umbreon. Umbreon is very bulky. And Sleep Powder is going to poke. And we're going to say, hey, Mimikyu, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yo, dude, this combo. Venusaur is so good, yo. His Sleep Powder with the Wildlands combo is nasty. It's so good. But that's what's going to happen here. He is going to actually use his leftovers. And I think we're just going to start nuzzling and dealing some damage up on these Pokemon. Uh, I could go Slug Bomb, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off you. And let's just nuzzle up. Let's just nuzzle up here. Nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle. Start taking speed control. Nuzzle's so good. That's why I absolutely love Toga tomorrow. Like, it's just an instant paralyze. It's so good. It's so good. And it can take off disguises. It can do a lot of different things. But sometimes I'm just going to poke through here. Drop disguise. And I wonder what Umbreon's going to do here. Still have Sash. We still have Wide Lens. We still have Weather Control here. And he's just going to go for a Yawn. He's going to Yawn me up. He's going to Yawn me up. And I might just hard swap into... I didn't bring the Tapu Fini. Wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. What is this? Yo, what? That thing just woke up like that? Get out of my face. Get out of my face, yo. Get out of my face. Now might be a chance to hard swap, which I'm probably going to do into Charizard. Or I could go into Groudon. Hmm. Yo, what? What? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I think, do I hard swap into Groudon? Yeah. Yo, what? That is super whack. You guys know it. That is super whack. Thing gets off a trick room. One turn sleep out my face, dude. Not dealing with it. Thing should be slumped. He should be slumped. We're gonna swap it to the ground on. And I'm not afraid to swap him back. I just need to get that Venusaur out of here. Really just need to get that Venusaur out of here. He is gonna go for a snarl, which I'm totally fine with. Ground on is physical attacking. It's a lovely little physical attacker. And there goes a white herb, which is like kind of a waste, not even gonna lie. He's gonna go for a sword dance. Son of a biscuit, dude. You son of a biscuit. We are gonna nuzzle, so we should have some paralyze lock coming up soon. If two Pokemon paralyzes, the chance of them missing is definitely high. It's definitely high. Go protect and start wasting out trick room. We'll see what he does from there. Actually, I'm gonna bleed. I am definitely going to bleed. And I could eerie impulse, or I could just swap into. I swap for my fake out again. I think I'm gonna need it later. We're gonna swap back into Venusaur here. Let's see what he does, you know. Cause I'm telling you, yo, the paralyzed chance is high of a miss. We should be able to get one off here. We got the double paralyzed shown here. And if I get off a blade just in case he swaps into a uh, Kyogre, that was my plan. I had to throw out something just in case he swaps. But Venusaur's gonna fly back in here. Umbreon's paralyzed. There's big. Show me the Mimikyu as well. Mickey was not, and Shadow Claw is going to fly through here. Tip on my Groudon. Groudon says, hey, that's easy eats, baby. And Blades are flying through here. Come on, yo. How are, we How are they missing? How are we missing like this, yo? Our luck is stinking right now. It's stinking hard right now. We have the Mimikyu one turn sleep. And then we have this Venusaur over here. Come on, man. Uh, what, Didn't he go after Venusaur earlier? With what move? I think he went after him earlier with something. Not too sure. Definitely gonna protect the ground off because I see that something flying through here. Oh, we go on the mill here. And I'm, I'm gonna try to put this Mimikyu back to sleep. I am gonna try to put Mimikyu back to sleep here. I, what am I. What am I doing? I can't put him to sleep. I cannot put him to sleep. He's paralyzed already. 
He's paralyzed already. Umbreon's unable to move. You want to able to move? He's just gonna drop a shadow claw. That's gonna get blocked. Okay, so that's a, that was just a waste of turn. That was just a waste of turn there. We're just waiting out this trick. I might swap back into the Raichu. But yo, this is super slow. It's a super slow battle here. I mean, turns left and trick him. Yeah, that was so stupid of me to go into a sleep powder. But this dude's getting super, super lucky here. Oh, we might be able to eat up another one. I'm going to try to go for a heat crash here. And just energy ball. Actually, what's going to be slower, so I, I'm, I don't mind doubling down into the Mimi Q here. He's going to yawn on me. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. And Mimikyu is paralyzed. Yes, sir. It's a big turn for us. E Crash can come through here. That should be able to pick up the ETK. All right. Get this Mimikyu out of my face. Yes, sir. Okay, so he's done. He's definitely going to swap into Kyogre. I can definitely, like, yeah, 100%. And he's probably going to protect Kyogre turn one. So I could swap my ground on easily. If he goes to Kyogre, I swap my ground on here into my Raichu. And I throw a Sleep Powder over back onto the uh, Kyogre slot. 100% the play, right? 100% the play, I believe. I believe that is the play. There's the Kyogre. Okay, so that's definitely gotta be our play. Because he might protect just for the Yawn to get off. And I can swap out my Groudon and then have Fake Out next. I really do like that. I really do like that. Stop the first or solid second battle here. Let's swap the Groudon into the lovely little Raichu. And then just go into the Sleep Out if we can connect this. Be big for us. It'd be big. Zombreon's obviously going last with the Paralyzed, just a speed decrease. Wonder what he's going after the Venusaur for? I wonder if he's going to do that with an Ice Beam. But I, I really do see him just protecting. I really do see that happening. And is this a could be choice. A lot of Kyogres nowadays are choice guard. Dude, I can't believe this guy got so lucky that he dodged my blades and the one turn sleep. Like that one turn sleep, nuts. You never get a one turn sleep. Ground's going to get swapped. We don't get our Raichu back out here. We have a Focus Ash, but it's out because we already took some damage. And there's Protect from Kyogre. So, he was waiting for the Yawn there. Uh, how do I do this one? Definitely got to fake out, right? Umbreon's still paralyzed. That's huge. Definitely got to fake out here. And then Nuzzle next turn. And swap into my Groudon. Swap into my lovely little Groudon. Venusaur is slumped. Totally fine. Let's go into our fake out. Umbreon's just still just sitting there sleepy. <laughs> We're just gonna go into a fake out here. And uh oh, dude, I would love the energy ball. And I could wait another turn. And waste out sleep here. But you know, I'd rather get off ground on now. Right, wouldn't I rather get off ground on now? Yeah, let's get in ground on. Let's get in my ground on. Yeah, playing some nice weather control here. Playing some nice weather control. Still upset at myself for that sleep powder move. I was like, let me just put this Pokemon to sleep. Bro, he's already paralyzed, Jeans. What are you doing? How broken would that be if you could stack status conditions? Like, he's paralyzed, poisoned, burned, and sleep. All at the same time. He just broken. He'd be so broken. But thank God you cannot stack those. Groudon's gonna fly out for us. We're gonna change this rain. We're gonna say, hey, rain, knock it off. No more crops. You cannot grow any more crops under a drought. <laughs> Gonna change the weather and he's just gonna hard swap the tire. I'm totally cool. And go into Tornado, which I think he's ro probably rocking Sash. In that case, we just drop a nice fake out and then I just nuzzle him up next turn. This thing's going to yawn into my Raichu slot. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because I'm just gonna nuzzle up into the, uh, the Tornado slot. I'll play the long game. I'll play the long game. That's Sword's answer here. I could drop a Blades. No, I'm gonna go for the Heat Crash. Go for the Heat Crash over on the Dumb Brown. He might not swap here. He might just set up a Tailwind. Could be scary. Could definitely be scary because I have two Pokemon to sleep. Could definitely be scary. Ooh, it does. Let's see his dude's play. He's definitely tail winning, right? It's a must. Well, he might swap weather. He might swap weather easily with this rain dance. Nope, go straight into a tail win. So now we're sitting in a tough spot. I feel like this is like one of the only teams we could definitely lose up against. 
is a Kai Ogre team because it's so good. It's so easy to get weather control. We got the Paralyze out on the field. He crash gonna be able to fly through. I think this takes out Umbreon, right? Oh, it does not. I think it's just a tank. And then he moonlights. Get out of my face, dude. Umbreon's so good. He's so bulky. He's so bulky for no reason. I think that stinks is now my uh my boys are sleeping. And we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. I think I have the do I keep Raichu in here? Yeah, so we try to wake him up. I get off some mirror impulse, so that can be really nice. Just protect my ground, because I know Yawn's coming across. Protect him and try to waste out some sleep. Long battle, but pretty solid one, not even gonna lie. Pretty solid one here. See what this dude's turn is. Let's see it. What does this guy got? What's this guy got? But I promise you guys he's a winning record or a perfect record. But this one looking like we might lose, but we'll definitely win the next one. I got you guys if we lose this one. I we gonna get the swap. We are slumped. And I wonder what again, I wonder what Tornado's is going into. Hopefully he's going after ground on here. Hopefully he is going after ground. But he has so many ways of gaining other. With the Kyogre being swapped in and out. And the Tornadus. The Tornadus has to be rocking man, right? Or it might not, considering he's swapping out so much. Swapping the Venus or like, what's that really gonna do? Makes people eat up a shot. Uh I don't know. I really don't know what we should do. And if we could get off a nuzzle, that could be complete. Or an eerie impulse would be probably a little bit better, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah, I'd rather get off a nuzzle. Have that RNG chance of him missing an attack. I guess we'll go Venusaur. Like, I guess we'll go Venusaur. It's, it's probably our best option so we can circle the shot here. But it's really not looking good for us because you can still drop a hurricane into us. Going to Venusaur. I love how their eyes are closed. Here goes the water spout. Eat up, Raichu. Eat up. Nope. That's GG's. That is definitely GG's. Like, there's no way we win this battle, right? I mean, we do have a choice scarf and we do, do have weather control, but I already know what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. We're going to go into ground on Charizard. He's just going to rain dance and it's just going to finish us up. It's so, like, yo, know, like, it's so annoying if you're not using, like, if you're not using, like, a, another Kyogre team or, like, a Shadow Rider Calyrex team or something like that. You're not beating Kyogre teams. They're so hard to play up against. They really are. And this is why I, I like I like this season in the beginning, but it's starting to dwindle down because it is just the same thing over and over again. We're seeing Kyogre's Shadow Rider Calyrex, he's just left and right, just dominating the meta. Same thing with Zacians, it's just too much. It really is too much. I think there was more versatile or versatility in the last series with Dynamax and all that. Because at least when you could Dynamax, you have a fighting chance against these Pokemon. Because you could change weather. You can change weather so much easier. But not look good for your boy. Not look good for your boy. I'm definitely gonna do that, and I might just go into a blades. Even though it's not going to hit the Tornadus, we have to get after his Kyogre if we want a fighting chance here. Bear Slash going to fly. We might be able to get a flinch, which could be lovely. Thank you, Choice Scarf. Thank you, Choice Scarf. Thank you, Paralyze. Hold up. Jeans ain't done yet. Jeans ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. We know we outspeed the Kyogre, so I can finish off the Kyogre easily. We did not go for a Rain Dance, which was huge. I can finish off that Kyogre, and I can go into a Heat Crash. No way. No way we come back on this one after just complaining. Like a girl. <laughs> but no, it's still true, even if we win this battle. Like, it's still so true of how tough it is to play up against these teams. Like, we just got a lucky flinch and a lucky paralyze. Other than that, he was just gonna steamroll us and drop us. I'm so surprised he's not rocking rain dance. Right? Wouldn't you think he'd be rocking rain dance here? I don't know which all the Kyrie. He definitely wants weather. But again, we know we outspeed him, so if I can just start taking out his Pokemon, we should be thriving here. Should be thriving. He crashed. We go to fly through here. So set up another tailwind. I mean, we don't have to speed him anymore. That's that's really tough for us. That's really tough for us. But there's that. He crashed flying through here. And I don't like it. I don't like this game. We still lost. We still definitely lost. Because again, he goes first with the tailwind, and now it's just an easy water spot or an orange pulse. I mean, if one of my dudes can eat, but I just don't see it happening. In the rain, we're not eating up. Like, it's just not happening. I mean, my only option here would be to protect the Groudon and have Charizard pick up the KO, but Charizard's not going to be able to eat. But there's no way he goes for a Water Spout. If he goes for a Water Spout, we eat. 
It's just like, yo, come on, man. Like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Gotta go for the air slash. And I gotta protect. And I have to protect. Let's see what it is. Maybe he goes for like a scald or something. Say he's rocket scald. Singular hitting move into my grotto. That'd be really nice. We still have a paralyzer, man. But I'm just totally wishing we get that on the Kai. Because paralyzers and Raichu were thriving in this game. We were paralyzed left and right. We were getting off some nice uh, shots. But uh, here goes protect. Oh, from Kai Ogre. Yo, you crazy. What's this dude going for? What's this dude doing? Is this dude yawning? He might surprise you to that. He's just wasting out tricking. Air Slash is going to get blocked. And. What's up, Brandon? He's going to yawn. He's going to yawn. So we still have one more turn. And that's all we really need here is one more turn. Yeah, this Umbreon was this close to dying early on in the game. But he got what's it called? But he used stupid Moonlight. <laughs> he had Moonlight rocking out with him. Let's see how this one plays out. He can't protect the Kyrie again. I'm thinking he's thinking that we outspeed him. Do we? In a Tailwind out? I'm trying to remember. He didn't have Tailwind up when we outsped him. We? he might have. Might have. Charizard might just be that fast with the Choice Scarf. Let's see. Make a move, dude. He is. He's just that fast. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we still have a chance here. Man, I totally forgot he outsped in the Tailwind. Jeez, this suit's cooking. He's flying. He was flying through here. I can see him dropping another yawn. So blazing. He's just going to go straight for a foul play into Groudon. Yes, sir. Groudon's able to eat. We are going to go to sleep, and I think we can finish off this battle here. Do we think he's going to go for a Moonlight? That's a real question. Do we think he's going to go for a Moonlight? And I can go for a Sword Stance? I just don't think that's the play. We're just going to we're just gonna drop our blades. Do I drop blades? 85%. We, we gotta go. We gotta go for it because he crashed ain't doing anything. Charizard slumped. He slumped. Umbreon's gonna outspeed and go for another foul play. Wow, I'm, I'm surprised he ain't outspeed. He's super, super slow. GG's. GG's, baby. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Somehow we came back and we won that battle against the Kyogre. I don't know how we did it, but we beat that Kyogre team in that second battle. We got a lucky flinch and a lucky paralyzed mix in on the same turn. Came up clutch and we ended up winning, but popped into our third and final battle. Trying to get this perfect record here. We're going up against an Eternatus team alongside with the Incineroar Real Boom combo, Suicune, Galarian, not Galarian Zapdos, Cantonian Zapdos, and uh, Volcarona. Okay, I'm kind of with it. There's no way of weather. There's no way of weather, and I might just lead, uh, I might just lead the weather. Gotta watch out for that Incineroar Will Boom. Definitely a scary combo. I could just go Groudon. Groudon and Charizard. Or Groudon and Groudon and Venus just works so well. We can double protect here and be thriving. We do have that White Herb in case the Intimidate does come out here, so I'm totally cool with that as turn one. Let's rock out with that. I'm gonna bring in a Finny, just so we're not using the same team the whole time. And uh I like Charizard. I'll probably just get some Charizard love in here. Everyone loves some Charizard. Everybody loves some Charizard. Everybody. Love some Charizard. You guys already know that. But uh, 2-0. This crap is perfect record. I really want it. Charizard's a beast. He's beasting up. He flinched in that last battle. Gave us a win. So we're going to try to get him back out here. But he is definitely way better in the older series with Dynamax. He was just so, so strong. Like, it was crazy to see that jump. He was like top of the top. Like, best of the best. Now he's down. No one's really using him anymore. Like, that's crazy how much just like changing Dynamax is changing format like that. But he has fake out ready to rock. I think I just double protect here, right? I think double protects him us. Or who do I think he is going to fake out? That is the real question. Whom do I think he's going to fake out? I think I just blades and put somebody to sleep. I don't even think we go for the protect. But say he fakes out Groudon. Say he fakes out Groudon. Venusaur will be able to put the sweep in to sleep. Say he fakes out Venusaur. We're getting off of blades. And I really... I really like that, so that's a good, that's a viable turn right there instead of going into a double protect. I just think we get more value out of it. Suicune's probably going to try to get off a Tailwind. I'm kind of hoping he fakes out the ground. But let's just see, let's just see. Chances are he's going to fake out Venusaur and we're going to miss the Blades on the Incineroar. I just have an odd feeling about it, but it's okay. Might try to set up, if, I, if we get a sleep here, oh my god, he didn't even fake out. He didn't even fake out. What a clown. What a clown. Ground on outspeed. Ground should definitely be able to outspeed. Do some damage here. Blades comes across. What a clown. Take him out. Take him out. Mm, he's going to take out my Venusaur, no problem. 
What's he going for? Where is he going for a parting shot? He's going for the party bots. I could set up a swords dance. Which I might do. I might set up a swords dance. He's gonna go down there. Okay, I'm kind of with that turn. Set up a swords dance, baby. Might set up the dance for the swords. Definitely gotta get out my char char. In this heat? In this heat? Give me no reason not to bring out my char char. Let me have Finny in the back end once this round ends. Pretty much clean up battles. And he's just so so good at surge control, first of all, and weather control as well. Or not weather control, and back end play. He's gonna go into Eternatus. Okay. That's a little scary. You have a dragon move. I do indeed have a dragon move. And Blade, Blade's just super effective. I really want a sword stance here. I really, really, really want a sword. Is it worth sword dancing? Is it worth sword dancing? We're gonna sword dance. We might force a protect out here. I really want to go for a flamethrower, but air slash or let's go dragon poles. Let's go dragon poles. Let's force some damage onto this Pokemon here. I'm just gonna withdraw, so we are wasting turns. So sword dance might have been a good call. I'm thinking. He, I'm thinking he might protect here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's protecting. And we are setting up swords. We are getting swords out here. He's probably like, oh no. <laughs> He's probably like, oh no. But the bad part is, we choice into our move. We choice into dragon. It means we have to stick dragon. We're gonna go after this after this because this blade should just be able to dump on Eternatus, no problem. No problem. Plus two, get the thing out of my face. Not dealing with it. Dragon Pulse gonna be able to fly through here. Get a little bit of damage off here. Some of solar power out here. Get a little bit of damage. Just there for choice and Dynamax cannon flying through here. Go after my Charizard, please. Alright, we grab on go next. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hit up on this Eternatus. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. We don't want him here. We don't need him here. Look at that. Look at that lovely damage. So we know we outspeed the Zapdos. No problem. I kind of want to swap this uh this Charizard before Groudon does go out, but I think Groudon might go out here. What's up? Hey, he does go out. Dang it. So we're stuck into a Dragon Pulse. And he's probably going to be able to rock electric moves on me. That's tough. That is tough. That is tough moves. I knew we shouldn't have choice to a Dragon. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Actually, it might work better here, considering he has speed. The Finny's gonna fly through here. Um, does he protect onto the Zapdos? Or does he go straight for the next one? Hmm. We could have choice to an air slash. Air slash is so good. Uh, just really would like to get a calm mind up in here. If we can take out this Zapdos, we should be thriving. I'm gonna double down the Zapdos, even though I think he might protect. See his play. No, he doesn't protect. That's huge. All right, so Dragon Pulse flying over here. Get off some more damage. Is that crit? That's lovely. That is lovely, Charizard. God, I love you, buddy. And he's roosting. What the hell are you doing? Roosting. You know how this dude plays? He's a rooster. God dang, cockle doo 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 over here. Moonblast Spice Can we get the drop? Can we get the drop? No drop. And he wakes up for a snarl. That is over. It is over with. We need crits now to win. It is 100% over with. Snarls. God dang it! God dang, Snarl. Hate this game. Hate this game. SGGs, he's gonna constantly snarl until we die. Look, watch how much damage we are just not gonna do. He's gonna be able to just keep coming after me. Go through the Moon Blast, and we'll go through the Dragon Pulse. And double up in the Sweeper slot. I think he's roost. He's probably gonna roost again, not even gonna lie. See what he does. See his dude's play. And I know Dragon Pulse won't take him out, so he's probably just gonna roost up again. And then snarl again, roost, snarl, roost, snarl, and then start attacking me. So if he ends up uh, snarling and roosting, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quit battle and run it. We'll go two and one for today. Let's see it. Look at that. Look at no damage whatsoever. There's the roost. That's GG's. Like I said, it's over with. It's 100% over with. GG's this guy. Played pretty good. They played pretty good there.
We did have a little bit of an upper hand in the beginning until like that on went down. But I think we definitely made the wrong call by choosing into the wrong move. Definitely choice into the wrong move. 100% choice into the wrong move. That's rough for us. That's definitely rough for us. But hey, GG's 2-1 for today's video. Not bad. That's show off the scene really, really well. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. And maybe you guys use it on the rank ladder as well. But we're going to run this one and call it a day. Great set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2-1 and, and grabbing that winning record for you guys. I absolutely love this team. Tons of fun to use. Charizard is definitely not as good as he used to be, but still very fun and very powerful in certain situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.